If you want to see more super interesting tech like this smartphone, why not subscribe? It's free. So here we have the Voga V projector smartphone. This is a smartphone with a projector integrated into the head of the smartphone. So you can pretty much project anything you see on your smartphone screen. So I'm actually very excited for this phone and let's see what we got in terms of specifications. So specs here aren't actually that impressive. They're pretty much on par with the Yumi Digi S2 Lite, which costs around 150 to 200 bucks. This phone here costs 300 and that's probably because of the projector integrated into the head. But in terms of CPU, you have the MTK6750, you have a 7.0 Nougat, and you also have a 1080p 5.5 inch display. This is not 18 by nine, and you have eight gigs of RAM, oh sorry, four gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of memory, as well as a 13 megapixel camera, and a 4,000 milliamp hour battery. I really wish this battery would be bigger because 4,000 milliamp hours, in my mind, is really not that much when you have to power a projector on the front of the phone. So let's unbox this thing and see what we got. Oh yeah, if you look at the corner over here, it says designed by Green Orange. I'm not sure who they are, but let's keep on going with the unboxing. So here we have the cell phone. This is a fairly premium unboxing experience um, as far as I can tell. So, I mean, it is to be expected considering this phone has cost about $300 as well. So let's see what kind of accessories we have in here. So here we have a screen protector. This is not glass, it's just a plastic screen protector. And here we have a microfiber cloth as well as a user manual. And I probably will read this just to see how I can enable that projector. And they also have given us a case. And it's it's a fairly basic case. It's not TPU, it's hard plastic. And it looks fairly okay quality. It's nothing special though. So we have a charger. And I'm not sure what this is, but I think it has to do with the projector so you can stand it up. And here we have a micro USB cable. And would you look at that? We also have headphones, which are pretty rare nowadays in Chinese phones. So let's put all this stuff away and get to unboxing the phone itself. All right, so this is the smartphone itself. Let's peel off some more plastic. And on the back, we also have a screen protector for the camera as well. So yeah, this phone, I like the look of this phone a lot. I really like this blue. I really don't know why more companies don't go with this kind of shade of blue. It's really nice. And when you compare that, there is a blue back with golden trim on the side. It really makes this phone look kind of royal as well. So again, I'm very pleased with the color choice over here and it's a metal phone, not glass. And I'm also very happy with that. So let's uh, take a closer look at the phone. So on the front, it says here laser projector as well as a camera. So I'm not sure what this part is for because the projector is actually up here, which we'll talk about later. And this is the fingerprint sensor down here. And there is the Voga logo. And here it says, if you can see, it says Champions Cup. And I'm not sure if that's the same thing as Champions League or some other weird cup, but we'll talk about that later as well. And over here, we have the volume and the power buttons, SIM slot. And here we have the projector. It's covered by a rubber covering and it's actually pretty ingenious. Um, what you do is you push this to the side and that kind of reveals the projector. And when you want to put it back, this is actually a magnetic strip. So you don't actually have to um, kind of stick it in. It kind of snaps in by itself and it kind of stays there as well. So you can kind of protect the lens, which is going to be very valuable um, considering that you do not want to scratch that lens. And over here, we have the micro USB port as well as the headphone jack as well. So let's turn on the phone and see what we got. So it's very strange, but I actually can't get Google Play to work on this device. It keeps on telling me that it couldn't sign in and that there was a problem communicating with the Google servers. So I'm going to try that and see um, if that works in the future. But right now, let's go over to a dark room and test out the projector.
So as you can see, the projector quality is actually not that great. The projector resolution is about 1280 by 800. However, as you could see, there is kind of like what looks like a matte screen protector effect applied on top of it, kind of like that rainbow effect when you have a matte screen protector put on top of a screen. And the uh, motion is also very weird and makes you feel really sick really fast as well. So again, this is not that great a projector at my first impressions. However, I did have a genius thought, like what if I put this on the floor, I pointed it up at the ceiling, and I just lay in bed with uh, Bluetooth headphones on and I could watch something. That, now that would be pretty cool. So if you wanna see more cool and interesting tech like this Voga V projector smartphone, be sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.